My venomous Rattler fans, this is the road where Racetown Lake first got started. There used to be a small town at the bottom of the lake. It was called H. They built Racetown Lake in 1972. But before that, there was a small town at the bottom. It was called H. But we're coming up. As you people can see the sign, take a look at that sign, Matt. Age Recreation Center, Racetown yep. Lake, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Yep. Oh, that's right. They're redoing the dam. Ah. No, the dam's a little bit north here, but this is where the small town H, H used to be. No camping, no campfires, no hunting. Boat ramp, ramp picket shelter, shelter, parking dis okay, park and spaces only. Up here, drinking aloud. <laughs> Okay, we're parking here, but folks, we got history to do, so let's get out. I got food. I got Shut it off, Wendy. Okay, folks, as you see ahead, this is where the small town of H used to be, right down here at that lake, as you see. But in 1972, they turned us into a lake. We all know well as Lake Grace Town. Correct yeah. matter what. Oh, I guess so. Whatever, whatever you just said, because right now I had, had to, I was having trouble getting out of the car. I had all that stuff on me. We're heading down. Oh, look at the grills, dude. I know. We're getting closer to the lake, folks. Hey, people, you remember, you ever want to come here, you start grilling. Correct. Check this out. So back in the early 1970s, 1960s, down here in this valley, this used to be a town. It was called H, Pennsylvania. A-I-T-C-H, known as H. Start with an A as an H. But we're taking you right down to the lake. We're going to jog down the lake. We're jogging, folks. I got to jog down. Never hurt to go for a run, correct? It does it. Never hurt to go for a run. Exercise is always great. Okay, folks. We're heading down to the lake. Right here, folks. There's a lot of history right here. I mean, totally major history. But as we head towards this guardrail, there's tables. Down here, folks. Down underneath here, down here, is a hidden town called H, Pennsylvania. There is a small town down here, about a couple hundred feet below, down at the bottom. This is where HPA used to be in the 1960s. 1950s, 40s, they had a couple stores. It was a small town. It was right down here. It was all through here. This used to be a small town. Show you how beautiful this lake is. But before the dam busted, and when they called this race town before that, it was called H. They had about close to 200 people. There was houses here. There were stores here. Can you believe, Matt, that down here, down through this whole area, this was a town. You can actually see part of the town, too, if you look down below. Just be careful you don't drop your phone down there. But it looks no. like there's some type of rock formation, like there used to be a town. It was all through here. This was all a town. This whole, this used to be, this was a valley. This used to be a valley. This was a small town of almost 200 people. Back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, until 1972, until they made this lake into race town of what it is today. This lake stretches the whole way from Saxton almost, the whole way clear up to Huntington. It's like a 27, 28 mile long lake, which is famous for boating, swimming, jumping off cliffs. As you can see, there's a boat coming in. Yep, so you check that out. Almost kind of looks like my girlfriend's boat, almost, but not really. Try to get it clear so people can see it. 
got blurry vision problems, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, that's nothing wrong with that. We always have there technical difficulties. There's the boat. Sir. There's the boat. About a half a mile out there. It's coming in. But can you believe, Matt, this used to be a freaking town. No, I can't. They died. I thought it was the 1800s that they had this town. 1900s, too. Oh, wow. So this is actually... Right there's right there's part of the dam formation over there. Oh yeah, it is. This used to be a town. This used to be known as H Pennsylvania from the earlier 1900s. But it's been almost next year will be 50 years. This lake's been here, as we all love and know it, now, as, as Race can, Town Lake. Now, as you can tell, people, this also used to be dried up. Ah, that's right. This place... Well, not completely dry. Down, down around here somewhere it used to be a river that ran along here. It was a small river. But they flood it and turn us into a lake. Down here at the bottom, there is a town down here. If you go down about 100, 200 feet, they say, there's old broken down houses. There's anchors here. There's a lot of stuff down here. It's rusted up. Speaking of anchors. Isn't that an anchor down here? That does look like an anchor. Down here at the bottom. Yeah. Oh my God, that is an anchor. Sound and clear on air. This was H. This was H, Pennsylvania. And I can't believe people would litter. Look at oh. the beer cans. They don't give a crap. Beautiful lake. But yet, people destroy their... I went scuba down. diving towards those rocks over there back in 19... Well, not 1999, but like 2002 or three, I went scuba diving down there, and there is a town now, down here. There's a complete town. This is it. It's beautiful, Bob. It is completely beautiful. Let's look at that. What's that? We are right here. You guys are oh, good. You guys are good. We're just exploring. We're doing, you know, some YouTube. <laughs> exactly. Because back in the early 1900s, there used to be a town down here. Yeah. They call it H, Pennsylvania. About 200 people lived down here at the bottom. He knows it. There's a lot of history here. It's right. it's incredibly remarkable. Oh. Yep. Are you guys making a YouTube? Yeah. Yep. We well, my parents were kids. They used to come down through here, and they went through the small town down here. Until 19, early 1970s, they made the lake here, what we all know as Race Town today. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, nice talking to you, though, buddy. Hey, you too. Yeah, good day, bud. Good meeting you. <laughs> Check us out. Beautiful tables. and. Oh, look at that bird. Come on. Straight up in the air. Oh, it's a hog. Look at that. How beautiful that thing is. It's flying way up. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but trying to catch it. Ever to see it's way up there flying? Look at that. Stacy loved this type of bird. So it's a vulture, actually. All right, people, you saw her here first. You saw a legendary town of H. This, is the, like this is the history of Lake Racetown. But one of these days, we're going to do the dam. Oh, absolutely. After Johnstown, we'll show everybody the, the history of the Racetown Dam. Absolutely, because Johnstown, we are not people, does connect through. Now, you well, not the, Johnstown, but that's the that's the Susquehanna and all that yeah, connects to that. But here's what I was talking Judiata. about. People, there's a restaurant called the Canal Inn. We're not. That's that, a hot to Holdingsburg. Yes, there's Good a history place. behind that. All right, you know, we, a, we can do that here in a couple weeks. The Canal <laughs> Inn was the Canal Basin for the Forty Railroad, actually. That is awesome. And then people used to stop there and eat. Before they hook up to the trades and to the horses and keep going. I That's right. They took one rail car. One rail car. All right. We're heading up to the car. I parked Claire up there by that pavilion. I actually jogged the way down here. Who cares? But it running never hurts. But next up. Walk. Next up, we're going to the Trough ice Creek. Mine. Trough Creek and the Ice Mines. We love you. Subscribe. Vitamin Sprattler fans. Thanks for watching us. History of Racetown. And subscribe. We're out of here. Later. I actually yeah. did all that. <laughs>